Hmm, what do we have here? Lovely box with Maserati parts. So right here we have so an oil filter for the transmission, transmission gasket, oil filter for the regular this transmission oil filter, regular oil filter, part number right there, 289571. If you're wondering, this is the one that we're looking at today, and it's pretty damn heavy. This is a wheel bearing. So, so what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of the vlog and today we're back with the Maserati. So the Maserati has been here in the garage for two weeks now. I haven't even tried touching it. There was one time where I was going to take it on the meet, but instead we took Justin's car and that was, that was a blast, but definitely miss this car so much. So it's been a minute since we've even touched it or anything like that. And there's a pretty major issue with it right now, which is why I'm not really touching it. And this couldn't happen to any car. It's not pertaining to just the Maserati, but it can happen to any other car as well. And that's what we're gonna go over today. And that's why I bought that box right there. So yeah, let's take a quick flashback to another video. So in this video, it was where I'm kind of talking about the Maserati. You know, you can find out on yourself just because uh, I don't want to like just blast it out there. I don't know if you guys can hear that in the background, but that isn't the road that's actually the wheel bearing it's the rear passenger wheel bearing and if you hear that sound like in the video it goes like da, 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 there um da, 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 da. you can kind of hear in the background sometimes like when i'm not talking i mean even when i'm talking you can kind of hear it and you think it's the road but it's not it's the car so today we're gonna go over a very expensive problem because this part is really expensive when you buy it we call this for like other cars so say like a ford f-150 i know it's such a random car that i would refer to but just because when i was looking for these that kind of popped up first for whatever reason and it's so damn heavy so this goes for about 700 dollars. so that's right 700 dollars for each individual part i mean this car is a maserati it's a hundred fifty thousand dollar car went brand new so all the parts are going to be freaking expensive that's oil right there we did a transmission service before but um, they never changed the oil filter in there and I didn't know there was one. And this thing is the gasket for the oil right there. It's like a small copper washer. So there you go. You can see that. It's like 67 cents. I'll leave all the parts below. It's generally recommended that you replace both at the same time. But since this thing is so damn expensive. Hey, this is not cutting. This is pretty heavy. But this is the part. I know... I'm trying to do this all with one hand, yeah, but it's not that big, but it's pretty damn heavy. Like if I literally drop this on my car, it would create like a huge dent, even just like from here or scratch the paint. I mean, these things just for like a regular Ford, it's like 126 bucks. But for this car, $700, mate. Uh, that's, it is what it is. This car, we've, we've had a, quite a few problems with it. My car is probably one of those cars where you just find issue upon issue with this thing. Uh, but, you know, I still love it nonetheless. And I mean, I drive it like freaking crazy everywhere. 20,000 miles in one year. So obviously service items like this are going to uh, pop up here and there. Yeah, man. Um, I'm going to put this in the trunk and hopefully the trucker comes here too. And we'll see it go off and we'll see the results after they're all done with the work. There she goes, off she goes. So this is the wheel bearing they replaced out. And look how, I mean, it's pretty old, but you can't even turn this thing. I know I can't really do it with like two hands, but when you turn it, it's like really difficult. And there was a noise. So you're gonna see that in the video, but yeah. This is it. 700 bucks for this one. Bro. All right guys, welcome back. So we're back here with the Maserati GT. We got it back after a week and we took it on a supercar run, which you'll probably see after this video. Can this car keep up with like the other big boys? That's a, a TPMS sensor. So we still haven't got that done. That's something I have to take to the dealership and it's something that's gonna be pretty expensive. So I'm kind of like holding off on it. The TPMS sensor, I know I'm going off in a tangent, but um, for 2013s, if you replace the TPMS sensor, the car is gonna pretty much relearn. But since this is a 2012 and older, 
this is a 2012 you're gonna have to take it to the dealership and they're gonna charge like at least one hour to sync it up if you have like a new tpms module that you can give them which i do so uh you know i don't really want to do that because maserati dealerships around here they cost like 250 dollars i think an hour which is pretty ridiculous so it's like i don't see what the point is because my TPMS sensor still reads the uh, tire pressure, but it does just go off exactly like how it did earlier. So anyway, getting back to the topic, we finally fixed the wheel bearing and it, it was pretty damn expensive just for the part alone. Thank you again, GI, for taking care of that issue for me. They always do an awesome job and I highly recommend them for doing like any of your supercar service or even any car, in a uh, matter of fact. We got the wheel bearing fixed. So now when I'm driving, you can't hear kind of like the wheel spinning or like that da 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 noise and this is a pretty common problem with pretty common like Maseratis it's just the Italian brands in general and this is coming from like multiple multiple mechanics it just so happened this one at 60,000 miles which is a pretty good amount of mileage on a car but to be honest in other cars that we have in the family like the Mercedes and stuff like that we've never had to replace a wheel bearing I think our van at 200,000 miles does have to replace it uh, but you have to realize like this car we're running it at pretty high you know, I put it in quotes, pretty high speeds compared to the van. It's definitely something you have to consider when you buy this car, especially used. When you're buying an older Maserati, which are such still a great deal, there's still so many service issues that you have to kind of consider. And probably in the next video, I'm, I'm gonna talk about why you shouldn't buy this car. There's a lot of reasons why you should, and I really just kind of sell you on the point that, you know, you should definitely buy this car. It's fantastic in like a lot of ways, but at the same time, it's not that fantastic in a lot of ways too, and it can really burn a hole in your pocket. I mean, just look at me. There's so many like service items that we've done together, and it's like pretty ridiculous. It's like, damn, you're like, you have to take your car in for service like once a month or something like that. And it kind of seems like the case, but it hasn't been. All right, guys, I'm gonna cut it right here. Thank you guys for watching this video. So then in the next video, you're gonna you're probably gonna expect a supercar drive. There's one Pagani related one, and then after that, we'll probably have another one with the Maserati GT. Just saying why you shouldn't buy this car. But until then, guys, thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Mikey, for holding the camera at such a weird angle. But thank you guys for watching, and peace out.